YouTube, my name is Danica and today I have my October wrap up. In the beginning of November I was both sick and busy, which explains why I haven't made a video until now, but I'm back now. So I'll get right into it. I read 12 books in October, mostly due to having Dewey's 24 hour readathon during the month. The first book I read in October was Imago, which is the third book in the Lilith's Brood series by Octavia Butler. I already did a series review, so I'll link that down below. I'll just say that I really enjoyed this series on a cerebral level. It was really thought provoking. Next I picked up Sandry's book, which is the first book in the Circle of Magic series, which is by Tamara Pierce. I I've been reading Tamara Pierce's books along with Mark Oshiro at Mark Reads. It's kind of a book club type deal. And if you've watched my other wrap-ups, you know I've been loving Tamara Pierce's books. I already read all of the Tortal books at this point, and I think I might like this series even more than the Tortal books. I find her books really comforting, probably because they are unabashedly feminist and just great. They're great. And then I finished The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells in audiobook. This was okay, but I already knew the basic plot from pop culture, and I didn't feel like the book really expanded a lot on this basic premise. After that, I read House of Leaves by Mark C. Danielewski. I did a video review of this one as well, which I will link below, but suffice to say, it blew my mind, and I'm still thinking of this book probably daily. And then there was Dewey's 24 Hour Readathon. I actually did a wrap up video of all the books I read during the readathon, so I won't talk a lot about them individually, but I will link that down below. The first book I picked up during the readathon was Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman, which is one of my friend's favorite books. I really enjoyed it, especially as an October read. I really liked the writing, but I found the romance is kind of annoying. Next I finished White is for Witching by Helen Oyemi, which I think I wanted to like more than I did, but I did appreciate it and I will be picking up more of her books. And then I finished Demon Glass, book two of the Hex Hall series by Rachel Hawkins, which I enjoyed to a surprising degree, almost entirely because of the lesbian vampire secondary character. This is a great, really light read. And then I read Twixt by Sarah Dimer, which is deeply weird and interesting, but again, a story I think I was looking for a little bit more from. And then in the second to last hour of the readathon, I finished Triss's book, which is book two of the Circle of Magic series. And then in the last hour of the readathon, I started The Circle by Sarah B. Elfgren, and I finished it later in the month. This is a Swedish paranormal normal teen book that's supposed to have some queer characters, but unfortunately this is the first book in a trilogy and it just sort of had some foreshadowing to queer content. It didn't really have any explicitly queer characters at this point. It was decent enough, but the plot and the characters both didn't really grab me and the story didn't seem to justify the huge page count. This is almost 600 pages and it doesn't feel like that much happens. The last book I finished in October is Daja's book, which is the third book in the Circle of Magic series. I really enjoyed my themed readathon reads and just my general October reads. House of Leaves was especially fun to read in that kind of Halloween October atmosphere. Let me know if you read any of these and what you thought of them. And if you have an October wrap up video, feel free to link it down below and I will definitely check it out. And thank you for watching. Bye!